So now that we have Link for Windows installed on the computer and we are able to open it, the next thing we got to do is make sure we could install our Blue Giga Bluetooth dongle. This dongle is a little USB insert um, that goes into one of the USB slots. It came with the, your training pack unit if you bought the training pack unit. So look in the package and make sure you still have that. Um, if you don't, contact NK. If you bought the upgrade from the basic unit, this would have been shipped separately and you should have received it. So now, as you can see in the bottom right, it's searching for this dongle. So I'm going to insert it into a USB port on my computer right now. Initializing. And now it's saying searching for speed coaches, which is good. Now we know it. The driver was picked up correctly, everything is good, we can move on to the next step, but let's say you had an issue during this step. So what I want to do here is show you how to troubleshoot any Bluetooth issues you're having. If you go to the help and how to use Link for Windows, you'll notice this top section is devoted to the Blue Giga Smart Dongle. Um, if the driver installation fails, remove and reinsert it. Let's try a you can hear it on the system sounds coming in and out. Um, initialize it, it found it again. But all right, let's say it didn't find it this time. So we still can't get the driver install. Um, what I done is include the link to this driver. You just click on it, it'll open in a website. You'll see BLE 112 signed wing driver. We're going to want to download this to our computer. Again, I'm using Internet Explorer. If you're using a different browser, there's a different way to go about getting files off. But we want to make sure, again, we know where this is going. Go to the desktop is my preference because I know where it is. I'm going to wait for it to finish. It's completed. We could open the folder. Well, I know it's on the desktop. So here it is. I'm going to close this for the moment and minimize this. And open up. It's a zip file. So let's unzip it. Let's unzip it to the desktop so I know where it is. Again, it automatically opened the file. But we now have this folder WinDriver. This is what we want to use. And we now got to tell the computer manually where this driver is. So let's do a search. And what I want you to look for is devices and printers. So we type in devices, we're getting devices and printers. On Windows 8, you do a search on the top right over here. But uh, on Windows 7 and lower, it's over here on the Windows button. Click on this. You will see down here under unspecified, we have the blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy. If you're having an issue, you'll see a yellow triangle and uh, and now we want to right click and hit properties and go to hardware and we want to hit properties again again you'll see that it's not working properly in your instance um, and after properties so we went right click properties then we went to the hardware tab then we went to properties now we're going to driver and there won't be anything in here, so we want to update this driver. And we gotta want to do this manually, so let's do Browse My Computer. And we want to browse to where we just loaded that wind driver and hit OK and do Next. The best driver is already installed. In, this, in your case, it would install it, and you should be good to go. After that, when we go back to the program and it's installed, you should see the searching for speed coaches. That concludes this portion, and we'll move on to how to update your firmware next.